This is James Elder Fry TV in association with Matthews Jim Marbella. We're at the weigh in today for Frank Bullioni taking on Fudo Chudnov for his WBA world title. With me, I've got the upsetter Oval McKenzie as one he prepares to go out to Argentina to, to challenge for the IBF world and title only. himself. One How and are you, Oval, mate? I'm good, brother, man. I'm good. I've been asking, I've been asking Frank to give me a chance and you know? give me a chance. I'm tired to beat British boxer or British fighter. I want to go abroad to do the business and it come true. My dream come true. 17 years and and come October the 2nd that's the night where everything want to change everything want to change on the night brother you've asked for this world title opportunity for a long time as you said Frank Warren has delivered for you you've taken on Victor Emilio Ramirez in Argentina for the IBF world title how excited are you that everything started to come to fruition for you mate well as I've, I've said I'm the upsetter and, and that's what I do I do the business wherever wherever the fight is I go and take it in and, and like I said abroad that's where I want to be at, upsetting people, doing the business, bringing back bells to the UK. You know, but that's my job to do, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to represent. Yes. You know, as a, a sportsman, you know, sportsman all the way. You know, wherever, and that's where we do the representing. You've been out training in Tenerife, preparing to go out for this. How was your camping in Tenerife? What was it like out there? Well, it was good. It was a good stuff, in you know, man. You know, I was out there training with with the Royal Air Force boys, them as well. I met them up, I do a bit of session with them, take them on a bit of runs, a bit of swimming, a bit of shadow boxing, a bit of sparring, yeah. everything, you know, and then I get this fight 11 days notice and, and I just hold my hands up, yes please, I'm ready, good to go, you know. I mean, what is your best weight, lightweight or cruiserweight? Because I know you, you're more than capable of fighting at both weights, but what, what do you prefer fighting at both be honest with you, I, I, I get loving this cruiserweight, you know. I don't mind, like, if I get a fight, I like heavyweight, a real tiger fight, I'm in. Yeah. But cruiserweight, I love it as well. I can have to make weight, going to the weigh in the day, I'm eating a nice, good breakfast, drinking water, I have to drink water to make. I love this cruiserweight, you know. It's mm. good stuff, mate. I mean, you're from Jamaica, you've re resided in Derby for a long time, you count the peacock in Canning Town as your home. We're expecting a big support for you for this travelling fight and hopefully we'll get a few people to go out there with you. We do, we do. We got a few support from Derby, from Derby going as well as a few of my mates them already booked their flight, they're going they're going to Brazil, then straight to Germany, then Argentina afterwards. So it's all good, you know, and a couple guys from the peak at gym as well going also as well. So I'm loving it man, you know, they're gonna be my art that my inspire like looking in that ring and look out there at the ring side and see them, you know. You think motivate you've got, me. Do you think you've got to knock him out to get the win over there, Ogre? Or you, you, you think if you win every round and box clever, you can get it on points? Tell you the truth, man. Whatever. If it's 12 rounds, I'm gonna. They, they can't. Run, they ain't gonna. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna get a chance to take it away from me because I'm gonna. I'm taking that. I'm gonna be control of that fight from first from first round one to round 12. You know, I'm in charge. I'm the boss out there. Listen, good things happen to good people, so. Go out there, go and grab it. This is your opportunity you waited for, my man. That's the one, and the one and only. I'll take that one. This belt coming right back to the UK. We ain't leaving that. No chance. I'm telling you, I promise you that. Straight back to the UK. The one. <laughs>